Hello friends and greetings from Iceland. In this footage we are flying about the newly formed uh, lava field which erupted on January 14th. The drone banner over Grindavik had been lifted since January 26th and we did this footage to show you the most recent lava field how it looks uh, now. The media operators can use Grindavik viewpoint on Blue Lagoon Road and but situation might change with a new volcanic event. But the major news for now is that we are likely to witness another volcanic eruption in Grindavik area next days to a week. This had been announced by Icelandic Met Office after their February 1st meeting. The latest data and model calculations based on GPS measurements and satellite images show the land rise and the lasting magma accumulation under Svartsengi. It is estimated that the volume of magma under Svartsengi is approaching the level it was before the last eruption. There is uncertainty, however, regarding the time frames, but within the next days or a week, the volume of magma will hit the same level as before the eruption on January 14th. Once that is achieved, there is increased chance that it will lead to some event, either the formation of a new intrusive magma tunnel with a consequent eruption or the magma outbreak in the existing Sudnuka Giger magma dike, as before which runs through Grindavik city by the way. And the city of Grindavik itself remains a closed zone and uninhabited. Electricity had been restored in most part of the town, but there is no cold water in the town, so it means people can't use the bathrooms. Since last Monday, residents of Grindavik were allowed to access the properties during the allocated time periods, and not all the residents of Grindavik Saturn the areas of Grindavik remain closed to the visits where we have the most of um, damage and land deformation. It's quite dangerous to go there, they are reassessing when the remaining residents can access those properties. Though the lava burned only three houses during the last eruption, many more houses became unusable or badly damaged due to the land deformation and earthquakes in the town. So far 53 houses in Grindavik are beyond repair and the number is not final. The Natural Disaster Insurance of Iceland has received a total of 432 reports of damage due to the natural disaster in Grindavik. So far 266 houses had been expected and out of this 53 house properties, 33 residential properties and 23 commercial properties have been assessed as beyond repair. Uh, <clears throat> it is also clear that the events of January 14th in many cases resulted in significant additional damage to the properties that had been previously assessed as partially damaged. Now, as you know, perhaps uh, recently we had a quite strong earthquake 3.1 magnitude rather close to Reykjavik in the Blue Mountains area. And volcanologists are warning that the new eruption period on Reykjavik could uh, activate volcanoes closer to Reykjavik. And there is every chance of that, according to Torvaldur Torderson, Icelandic top volcanologist. When that will happen, we don't know but there is a little chance that the ongoing eruption series will have an effect on settlements in larger Reykjavik area. We also know that from history, as had been the case with Krisovic eruption series in the 14th century, when the basaltic lava flows reached the limits of Hapnarfjord municipality, that is larger Reykjavik. Krisovic volcanic system has an eruption frequency of uh, once per 750 years. Professor Tordrason uh, urges the authorities to adopt the new realities, advising the city planners not to build further east towards Hangit and Brennestad Spjot volcanic system, as well as to stop city expansion in Vatler neighborhood westwards towards the volcanic system of Krisovik. 
Uh, Iceland's top geophysicist uh, Magnus Tumi Gudmundsson holds uh, the same opinion, but he says that it is premature to build defense walls in Hapnakjordo, stressing that it is necessary to strengthen construction planning laws by including the risk of volcanic eruptions. It should also be expected that the preparation time in a system like Krisovic will be long, as happened in Fagradelsfjall. There are several years of significant increase in tremors, then influx of magma begins, then the land rise starts. This all takes a considerable amount of time. In a human age, there are perhaps one or two systems that are active, then comes times when nothing is going on. There were no eruptions on peninsula from the year 1000 to 1150, just an example. So it will take a long time before we see eruption threatening Reykjavik most likely. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this footage. I wish you all the best and peace from Iceland. Be well.